Oh, you want a little treat treat? Okay, all right. You can have this treat if you love me more, more than other mummy. Good boy. Bribery, hurt no one, yeah. All right, okay, I get it, you want one too. Good morning, guys, how are you? As if it's been three months since we uploaded to this channel. That is just unforgivable, forgive me. What's new with you? I'm so over this like semi-lockdown situation that we're in over here in the UK. It's like, go out, don't go out, but make sure you eat out to help out. I don't really understand what this bubble scheme is over here. I don't think we should blow any bubbles in anyone's faces if we are presenting symptoms. We've got a new dog, if you guys didn't know that already, then go and listen to our podcast. I'm plugging it because that's where I get most of my revenue if I'm honest. Woody, for short. Woodstock is his full name. He's a cockapoo. He's about 13 weeks old. We kept him a secret for a while and we tell you all about that on the podcast. He is just fantastic. It could have gone many ways introducing another dog into this household, but fortunately, Wilma loves him, Flynn loves him, even my leg is starting to have a relationship with him, so everything's going really well. He is actually a delight, and I will introduce you properly to him in a minute. So today we're taking Woody to go and see his brother Archer. My brother John owns Archer and obviously our pups are brothers so we're gonna race them. Let's go and see Woody. I'm excited for you to meet him. He's excited to meet you. He doesn't care. Yeah you can't always get your way little pig. Okay well that's just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, okay little one. Oh no she doesn't want it. She doesn't want it. Look, we've all been in a situation where we fall in love with a straight girl and they don't want it. Good morning, babies. <laughs> okay, all good here? Okay, yes, it's a love story. Sit. Good babies. Good babies. Good babies. This good. shot is even more enhanced by the fact that there are Crocs in it. Oh, Rosie, that's so well twaved. For now, that was me. Did anybody hear that? Would you come? Good boy. Love me more than other mummy? Get out of her mouth, you don't have permission. Oh my God. Which one's which? No, I don't on know Woody's anymore. On <laughs> but uh, Woody's on top. Oh. 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 So what's going on with this eating then, guys? Oh, what's going on? Because we can't, oh, I ran straight into the camera. <laughs> We have come to the prison. So basically, Rosie loves this prison. We're stopping off for a coffee. Rosie's on the phone to the three network, which is really fun. I've, I'm really enjoying it because she's been on the phone for about seven days. So here we are, we're at the prison, and everybody knows prison coffee is actually the best coffee around, so let's go in. In the time that it's taken for me to order and receive two coffees, Rosie's still on the phone. That's good, isn't it? Prison was great. Honestly, lives up to every expectation that I have. The actual prison part isn't so good, but the coffee is fantastic. She's trying to get away from me because I'm being too loud. I find that really funny. Eh, somewhat ironic, isn't it? Positive feeling alone can near all others wither and disappear. <coughs> Why are you tired? It's safe. You're gonna start fire! You're not allowed to say fire on this channel! I'm cleansing this toilet because negative. Well obviously, yeah. Are you cleansing the house of bad spirits? Yeah, uh negative energy, but the dog hates it. How long has this been on your list to do? Um honestly a long time. What are you watching? Legally blonde. Rosie, I gave you one time! I'm legally blonde! He's dragging his bubble! He's dragging it! Oh, hey Rosie, this looks like the set of a native spawn. Oh, you caught me. Just relaxing with my um, mm. native deodorant. That's very natural. As you know, I've been using it for a while, quite a while now. Actually, I don't use anything else. And they've just come out with their new 0% plastic. I love that, totally plastic free. 0%, oh. it's made from 100% paper board. I love a yeah. good responsibly sourced product. I like the word responsible. Can I have that back please? We're trying to do a spawn. What that is not productive. Are. That is not productive in any way. You guys were asking for plastic free packaging and native listened. They've been working on this for two years and here it is. 0% plastic. I'm excited. 
excited. We do a lot of recycling. Rose has just bought a brand new special recycling bin. Helping the environment. Great. And Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet. Which means they give 1% of plastic free deodorant sales to environmental non-profit. Also, I've recently taken up running and we've got two dogs now. That's a lot of walking, a lot of running. I always smell great and always dry. You might want to learn how to walk before you try running. Oh. So I've got citrus and herbal musk, right? Fun facts about me. Anything with the word musk in it. I like the way it smells. <laughs> this one smells like a spa. This is lavender and rose. Oh, oh God. a personal fave. This smells a bit like chocolate. It's coconut and vanilla, but oh, a beautiful it choice. Like, it smells like chocolate. Okay, and this is cucumber and mint. Do you know what? It tastes like a cocktail. Why are you tasting it though? And which is your favourite? Maybe the cucumber and mint. It smells like face mask. A solid choice. Get him. Get him. What? You what? are so. <laughs> Get him, Wilma. Get him. It's aluminium fridge. Okay, stop. Rosie has spent the last four minutes trying to say aluminium. Right, okay, aluminium fridge. <laughs> Okay, paraben free and sulfate free, which is good because I'm careful about what I rub into my armpit. And I like that I can actually read the ingredients as well. I actually understand what they are, like tapioca starch, I understand what that is, coconut oil, shea butter. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free as well as being 100% plastic free. And it's free shipping to the US. Three plastic free deodorants are normally $39, but if you use our link and code, you'll get them for $29 and that is 25% off. Let me fill you in real quick. So Rosie and I spoke on the podcast about doing a ketogenic diet to help improve our fertility. Well, it lasted about four days and now we're craving it pancakes. It lasted five days. That's different, isn't it, than That's four? very different. And now we're making pancakes. Um, I'm really excited about it. Hi, Rosie. Hi, basically, yeah. yeah. Did a keto diet. You look so pretty. It's supposed to help fertility. Yeah. So we're both doing keto. Yeah, this is keto, Stop it. it. And right. then, basically, <laughs> it's completely unsustainable. Yeah. So it's going really well. Honestly, you look at, I'd say you look a six. A six out of six. I just yep. want to point out my flaws so we can move on with the vlog. Okay. Got really greasy hair, that's because intentional. Going yeah. for a run later, then I'll wash my hair afterwards. Okay, number two. Oh, I love Leave that it. pure meat. Sorry, go on. I've got um, a spot on my neck. Can we see I, it? And then I put something over it. Oh, can we see it? That bacon looks lovely. Uh, <laughs> go on. Ever since Cardi B's like, I've had it. And sometimes I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Like it comes out of <laughs> Me and Rose can't stop saying aerated boy abyst. So basically, let okay, me... no, let me explain. No, no, I'll explain. It. Right, I'll explain no, it. I'll, explain I'll come it. in the shop. No, excuse me, I'll explain it. So basically, Rosie and I are watching MasterChef on repeat at the moment because that's what we do in this semi lockdown. And I'm trying to learn how to cook. It's one of my uh, goals to do before I'm 30, and I'm 30, and I still can't cook. So. And someone said aerated boy abyst. We were both like didn't say anything for a bit, and then we were like. Do you say? Now we say everything is an aerated boy bit. So a fart. I'll be like, oh Rose, I've got a problem. I try, mm, and I'll be like, it's the aerated boy bit. It's just not aerated Shit. enough, is it? Honestly, Rosie, he's growing, which I didn't expect would happen. So I think I've been missold slightly. Mm. Oh, big yawn Woodstock. Good morning, my little woody poo. Are you gonna show people how well trained you are later? Yeah? Oh, you're so clever and smart and everything, Wilma. Is it? Put these clean on yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Went oh. for a walk with Woody's brother. Yeah. Woody. Yeah. Boy bisque. Boy, oh, us. A bit of aerated boy bisque. That looks like a nice aerated boy bisque, Chris. Thank you. Are you going to plate it up on that boy bisque? Yeah, I am. In a busy morning already. Oh, that's right. You've um, had a poo. And you've had a stretch. And you've eaten some crocs. And now you're good. It's a busier day than Rosie's had, isn't it? Where are all the other animals we have but no longer love? Now we've got a new one. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. Where what, did we? Sorry, did we have did other we animals? Away? I can't away? actually recall who you're talking about. Now we have a new puppy. Like obviously, we no longer love our previous animals. So who's that? Ugh, don't let it in. It's a stray. Oh my god, why is it coming to our house? I don't know. It's like it lives here. It's lived here for like ten years. Ugh, well, obviously, we no longer care about him. It's anymore. really ugly. Oh my, oh my god. god. Sorry, but all I see is you. Oh, you. Oh, thumbnail. When we got him. I could fit him under my chin because I took him around to the neighbours up courtesy to introduce them all. Yeah. And he literally just fit under my chin in one hand. I can't believe Ooh. how big he has got. You're getting big. Yeah. Why are you growing? Mm. Stop growing. Stop growing. Oh, Rosie. This is such an aerated boy of biscuits. Unreal. Okay, so I'll smile. You're so cute. That's how you get with poo poo inside. Why don't you tell people about all the names you wanted to call Woodstock and I wouldn't allow it? Detect 
Detective Paws. Oh, Sherlock Inspector Bones. Inspector Woof. Yeah. Sherlock Bones. Sherlock Bones is amazing. Well, basically, when it comes to dog training, I'm an expert, as you can tell by my previous dog being so well behaved. Um, what do you mean previous exactly, dog? Excuse me. In the previous dog, I don't know anymore. Yeah, right. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. And this is just a basic recall. Um, okay. So if you'd like to put that boy bisque on the floor. Okay. We'll get started. Go! Sit. Good baby. Now this one's only 13 and a half weeks and he's got the basics down. This one's six years. Rubbish. In a minute. She's, uh, it's her birthday soon, isn't it, Rose? Do you want to go? Oh. For a walkie, walkie, walkie. Oh, oh, walkie, walkie. Do you want to go for a walkie, walkie, baby? Well, you, can only, you can only blame yourself. This is what happens when you roll in Boyabiss. Lovely, nice, warm bath. <laughs> oh, <bruh. laughs> Sorry, did you hear that? It's time for this. Look at my trousers. I like it. Good girl. Oh, he's hiding. What's wrong, my little baby? Turn your ears the other way. They're inside out. They and are both model shop. Model shop. Model shop. And model the product. Thank you. Yeah, this model. is what I like to call exploiting my children. Yeah. And model. look cute. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Oh my God, what are your rates? Oh. Tell me about it. Oh, oh what's wow. your engagement like? Oh, what it's your so engage? good. Oh, it's so hot. Yes. Oh, you Thumbnail. help with audience Thumbnail. retention. Oh, get that CPM. Oh, work that's gone. Work yes. that's Link gone. in the description work below. Link yeah. Below. Oh. Link in the description below. Oh, got it. The you US. absolutely oh. got it. Oh, wait, wait. What about this? Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Oh, work, work it. it. Work it. And Vogue. And Vogue. Sorry, he's not wearing a mask. <laughs> 